Okay, so that's the uh, that's the hydraulics, and yep. you've just add, and you've got your indicator there on the mast. Yep. So Um, this is not as critical um, as uh, bringing it down. Okay. Let's double check how you make sure the pin is released. And it is, I can tell because I'm able to hoist it up manually. Okay, here we go. So this is where, when it's blowing hard, you have to be careful that you don't have an unspool, right? Exactly. And if, you, if it starts to unspool at all, hit this, it locks the mandrel. Got it. Right. Yeah. Make sure you're clear before you start with yeah, the with yeah. the hydraulics again. Exactly. Got it. Exactly. Make sure yeah. that there's no issues. All right. Now totally got that. Okay. Looks pretty good. All right. Again. Make sure it's released. It's a nice looking sail. I mean, that's 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 the big payoff of in boom against in, in mass, doesn't it? I'm surprised how much roach there is in it, too. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to line up my, uh, my indicator. Okay, got it. Topping lift on. Topping lift on tight. Uh, bang, perfectly positioned on your marker. Yep. Got it. Yep. Okay, so you've got to keep some load on that main halyard. Load on the main halyard. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Okay, and the ratchet's on. So, we so it won't go the other way. But it won't go the other way. Got it. Got it. So now let's put a reef in. There. Yeah. Okay. Okay. One more little touch. Okay. Now the reef is in. That's how easy it is. The reef. One reef is in right now. Yeah, that is quick. I got a side. So I can tell right now that's loaded up. I know it is. I can't move that. Right. So I know that the the, the, the auto lock is still locked. It's not. Really oh, it is not. Pulled out, it's right. Because of the, it's, it's, there's tension on it. 
Got it. Okay, yeah. Now, just... So you're just going to give it a little... Give it a little goose. Like this. Now I'll try it. Otherwise, if you, put, if you went to the hydraulic and it's tight, you'll break it. So a bunch of stuff, right? No, it's still locked. Yeah. Okay. That is really smart, though, to try it by hand before you go putting those hydraulics to it. Okay, we're almost there. Now, what they say in the fusion throw manual is you don't take it up quite tight. And what you do is slack it a bit. Now you see how the you see the uh, the sail how lo how uh, loose it is the foot. Yeah. Now what they say is you don't tighten it up all the way. What you do is you leave it like that, and then what you do is say if it's windy, um, what you do you might lower it a little bit, and then you're gonna just roll that batten down. Right. It's, it's like a flattening reef. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So you have an outhaul in there, but that only works when you got full sail up, right? Exactly. Now, as you see, what I've done is I've tightened it up, and the sail. You know, up. we used to have flattening reefs in the old days on race boats, right? And it's a pretty, it's a pretty nice uh, shaped sail. Again, if I if I release the auto release. Right. Be like be like easing the outhaul on a race boat. Right. Yeah. Okay, all lined up. Okay, we're ready to go. Get tension on the um So that's three reefs. That's, three reefs that's nice like and that. small. Yeah, that's nice and small, yeah. Yeah. And then, okay, one more, but you're not, but if you need one more, you're going to have to sail up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Perfect. Let me zoom in on that. Boy, it comes down at a rate. You realize how quickly and how powerful it is. You better be you better be paying attention to. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. Just in summary, yeah. so you probably could have done slab reefing, yeah. except the boom is too high, and how the heck are you going to get the sail cover on? You know, I'm north of sixty, closer to seventy. I said that this was the best alternative for our family, right? But right. but there is a learning curve, right? And if this is more technical. As, you, as you've seen us go, you go through the different procedures here, um, you know, there's a bunch of steps, right? So this, so the three options, mm -hmm. slab, in mast, yeah. in boom. Yeah. In boom is the most technical, yeah. but Absolutely. it gives you the nicest sail shape uh, other than slab. Other than slab, exactly. Why? Yeah, slab uh, gives you the best. So, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slab gives you the best sail shape. Yeah. And and the big issue, why you got to have automation on a, on this boat this size, is how the heck do you flake the main and put the cover on? Exactly. Um, yeah. You see, uh, like to have an in mast or in boom frilling system for a 34 foot boat, I don't know why people would do that. Yeah, beyond me. Yeah. yeah. The other issue I remember in the, on the Swan 51 that we had that had slab reefing, beautiful boat, great gear. 
Uh, at the end of the day, the family's gone off the boat, gone off the house. I'm left. Flake the sail, get the sail on, big heavy jack run sail. Yeah. And the shoulders don't work like they used to, right? <laughs> get the sail. It was another 15 or 20 minutes work getting it all put away. Put the sail cover on. <laughs> yeah. Did you have did you have lazy jacks? Oh, yeah, yeah. It takes longer to put the sail cover on. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. and of course, the other issue, too, was... Um, was uh, you know we know it's like with lazy jacks if you're not dead head to win the bat gets caught on the other side of the lazy jack you got to drop it again get it pulled inside. actually that's fixable is it yeah you just drop the uh, you're gonna run uh, for it. Yeah, well no no you just the, the secret is simply um drop the uh point where you dead end the lazy jacks on the mask yes. down a lot lower than most people oh, okay, have oh, okay 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 yeah uh, we never had that problem we okay. never we never put it uh and we, we never put the laser jacks forward. Well, so the easiest fun. solution to getting all the other issues in, 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 the, in the most safest is a slab reefing, bar none. Yeah. But there's always other things that come into play other than um, what's best, right? I, well, not best. I mean, it, it depends on, uh, you know, as I always say, there is no best. There's only best for you. Yeah. People poo-poo sometimes on the in mass furling, and the, the downside is a heavy mast, right? And the mandrels are up, right up the top of the mast, and you know it's, it's heavy. But um, you know, for a cruising couple, it's you know, you can make you can, you can make lots of mistakes within mass furling and and come out okay. Fish, not so much. You know, which, you know, I feel very comfortable with this, as you probably can tell. And um, but you know, the but then you've got what. Uh, you've got what five thousand, six thousand miles with it, ocean miles uh, with it. I miss. Uh, we've had. Uh, oh yeah, at least. Yeah, it was five thousand exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, and then, then you would, and then you learn day sailing with it, right? Exactly. I mean, you didn't just go straight out with no, it. No, no, right? no, no. I had it for a whole summer before. Yeah. Right, and still making mistakes and yeah. little problems that we had with the installation. We had to get fine tuned. Um, you know, uh, so you know, but, but you know, it's like anything you get. It's a learning curve to it, and it takes a while to understand. Really, when you buy these things, you think you understand, but you really only know half of it. Right. Make a make a good informed decision because there aren't many people around who've had all three. No, exactly. And I just need to, you know, add this for people. Hans has not only had all three, but he's done uh, what? How many how many passages down to the Caribbean did you do on the old boat? Uh, uh, no, on the, we've done you know half a dozen. This yeah. Done once we've done. Five he's not only had the point being he's not only had all three rigs, but he's had all three rigs with serious miles on. 